Hey guys, I'm Dale. Welcome to Diving Southern California. Today I'd like to talk to you about uh, Save a Dive Kits. Uh, from a professional diver uh, perspective, I carry two. Um, one is uh, one that I take on the boats with me. It's a, a smaller, lightweight uh, version of my di uh, Save a Dive Kit. Uh, very portable, yeah, but carries all the necessities in it. Okay. The second kit that I carry is more of an advanced kit and this kit I take with me whenever I go on the road and uh, travel up the coast up and down the coast uh, diving now I might be uh, hours from another dive shop and I might not be diving in a location where the divers are at so it's in my best interest to make sure that I have everything that I might I might need in order to save my dives should something happen you know, and in a second, we're going to take a look at the contents of both boxes, and hopefully, we'll uh, give you some ideas of things that you should put inside a, a save a dive kit for yourself. Okay, uh, very important uh, to have a, a, a save a dive kit, even if you're just a vacation diver, um, diving uh, locations with other divers. You can't always rely on the dive boats or the dive operations people to have an extra uh, mask strap or a fin strap. Um, don't rely on them. You need to become self self reliant when you're when you're a scuba diver. So that means you need to make sure that you have the backup necessities in order for you to continue on with your dives, regardless of where you're at in the world. Join me, and we'll uh, break down each one of these kits and hopefully give you some ideas of some things that you should have in your dive kit. All right, let's take a look. Let's start off with uh, the dive kit that I take out on the boats with me. This is my travel dive kit. It's uh, pretty compact. It's in a water watertight uh, uh, pelican case. Uh, it's got two snaps, got an O-ring around it to keep the water out and moisture out of it. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty packed full of stuff. So let's take a look and see what we got in here. Uh, first off, I've got an extra mask strap. You know, you always need to have one of these in case your mask strap breaks. I've had that happen to me uh, numerous times and let me tell you, it sucks to have to cancel a dive because you no longer have one. So we've got our mask strap here. Put that over here. I've got a extra mouthpiece. Uh, not quite sure why I I keep these. I've never bitten through one, but just in case, or someone that's diving with me in case they bite through one, I have one here uh, in this kit. But I also have a couple in my in my other kit that we'll see a little bit later. So uh, mouthpiece. Um, we've got some some zip ties here. Uh, zip ties, number of zip ties that we could use to secure that mouthpiece or a couple of uh, you know uh, other items to some of the D-rings or what have you. Um, got a good old fashioned uh, dive multi-tool. Now this has got uh, a couple of wrench, wrench heads on it that are uh, same size as, as the hoses, the hose connectors that we use on our regulators. Also has um, a couple of uh, Allen wrenches in it and uh, flat tip and Phillips screwdrivers. Now I like this because it's an all-in-one device but the problem is is that this this will rust uh, quite easily. This is probably the third or fourth one I've gone through in six years um, and on top of that you know you and you're, you got everything down here and you're trying to loosen a hose you've got that and you're kind of holding and pulling against that so it's it's kind of a kind of a drag kind of a pain so you'll see why I carry additional wrenches here in a second but this is this is a good tool if all else fails okay I got a couple of uh, velcro straps just to tighten things up in, in case uh, something needs to be uh, uh, reaffixed um, important just as important as a spare mass strap have a spare uh, fin straps you know, you break a fin strap, end of dive, unless you've got one of these in your kit. Okay, and make sure, just like with your mask uh, mask strap, 
uh, very important to make sure that your, um, your fin strap actually fits the fins that you're diving with. Okay, uh, it's kind of pointless to have an extra fin strap and it doesn't work with the fins that you're diving with. Okay, um, I carry a cutting tool. This one just so happens to be a, uh, a safety line uh, tool. It's a easily cut uh, any type of line that uh, runs through there, fishing line, uh, bungee line, um, string, anything that I need to cut, I can cut through there, and it's uh, relatively safe. It's got the protectors across the blades here, so um, I, I do like these. Uh, I usually, you'll usually find me diving with one of these on my BCD as well. So I've got that in here. Um, always carry spare batteries for any of the devices that, that I dive with that requires batteries. I have spare batteries for my dive computers. Um, also have spare batteries for my wireless uh, uh, air transmitter uh, here. Okay, I also keep, uh, oh, here's more batteries here. And I also keep an uh, extra couple of uh, snorkel keepers and some extra o-rings just in case and you can use uh, these for a lot more than just on your snorkels um, extra extra fasteners just in case a fastener breaks um, okay got a couple more zip ties here got a nice set of uh, o-rings that can go with uh, uh, these are for, they got O-rings in here for your pressure gauges, for your high and high pressure, low pressure air hoses, your dive lights, tank valves, regulators, and uh, more devices in there. And there's also, like, I don't know if you can see in there, there's a, there's a little tub of uh, uh, silicone grease in there as well. So you can grease up those, those uh, um, O-rings. Uh, another thing with silicone, I love silicone lube, always, always have it on me. And here we have a couple of dedicated wrenches. I keep these in their plastic bags with a little bit of oil on them so that they stay nice and nice and uh, corrosion free. Now they're stainless steel, they're not supposed to rust or corrode, but you know, um, after years of diving, they do. They, they do rust, they do corrode, so keep that in mind. And uh, I got various sizes here, you can get these online, they're especially Especially made for uh, getting into those tight spots on the on the regulators, um, on the first stages. Uh, they're extra thin, so you can get in there and, and loosen up your hoses um, as needed. So I got a set of those in here. I also have a trusty uh, adjustable wrench, just in case you never know. Um, and also a pair of pliers, good pair of uh, pliers to help uh, pull th any things out. Um, an extra DIN plug if I'm going from uh, uh, yoke to DIN, um, you know, I remove the DIN plug and I can, I can uh, dive my DIN um, setup. Um, so I carry one, an extra one of those. And let's see here, specialized stuff that I got in here. I have a, a battery compartment key wrench for my for my uh, dive, wrist dive computer. So kind of important that if your uh, computers require special tools that you have those tools on hand. So I carry this in my dive box. And then also I carry a couple of uh, picks in there so that I can pick out any old uh, dive O-rings in case uh, an O-ring goes bad and I can't get to it with my uh, fingers. I have a couple of picks to get to it. So that's ba the basic setup of what I carry in my save a dive kit uh, that I take with me on the boats. Now, um, this does not include um, the items such as my uh, defogger or my mask scrub or my uh, lotion. Those are things that I carry in my dry bag with me. And uh, so I have a backpack dry bag that I carry with me as well. And I keep those items separate and in those uh, uh, in that bag. So that's it for my uh, uh, save a dive kit that I carry with me on the boat. Um, if you have any questions at all, uh, leave us a comment below 
and uh, I'll get shoot right back to you and let you know um, and try to answer your question the best that I can. Um, this by no means is uh, right for everybody. This this particular kit setup is right for me and for how I dive, um, but it might not be right for you. So these are just some of the items that I carry in mind that I've learned through years of experience as a professional diver that uh, are things that I go through quite often uh, while I'm diving. Okay, so um, let's, uh, I'm going to clean this up and then we're going to move into my larger dive, save a dive kit, the one that I take with me on the road when I'm traveling uh, between dive sites, uh, uh, shore dives. All right, so we'll be right back in just a second. Now we're gonna go over uh, the contents of my larger save a dive kit. And this is the kit that I take with me on the road when I'm going uh, shore diving uh, to uh, various locations here in Southern California. And uh, this has a little bit more complex uh, items than, uh, than what my typical boat save a dive trip uh, kit consists of. So um, this is just a, a six and a half quart uh, weather tight container that I picked up at Home Depot. Um, not expensive at all. What makes it weather tight? Uh, it's got the clamps on the sides here, but you open the lid and it's got some sealing foam all the way around the edges to help keep the water out. So it helps keep everything dry inside my kit. Now I'm just going to go straight from just start digging into the into the box. No random order. There's no uh, preference on on uh, uh, what I'm taking out uh, compared to other items is just what I have in my kit and what I take with me okay um, first off we got a couple of uh, mouthpieces here just like with my um, my boat dive save a kit um, I carry extras uh, of these in case somebody bites through theirs or I bite through mine um, in uh, the 13 14 years I've been diving I haven't gone through one of those yet, but uh, they're nice to have just in case. I'd hate to have to call off a dive just because I didn't have that $2 piece right there. Uh, other thing that I like to carry with me is a backup compass. Um, my computers have uh, compasses built into them or on them. Uh, Ann's dive computer has a digital uh, 3D compass that's built into it, but sometimes it's uh, difficult to read. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to access when you're underwater and you got your gloves on. Um, I like to have uh, an extra just in case uh, we're having problems with, with one of our uh, computer compasses. We can attach this with a clip and uh, attach it to our BCD and have a compass and we're ready to resume our dives. So nice thing that I like to have in my, my kit there. Um, extra strap that I use to... Uh, Connect my cameras to my wrists, um, nothing fancy, just a rope with a, a slide hinge on it and a uh, place to put it around my wrist and have that around the, in the camera, that way it doesn't go anywhere. So just simple things, simple things that can save your dive. Uh, a, a roll of, uh, of line, you never know when you're going to need to tie something up or uh, clip a, a, a couple of inches of the line off and uh, tie something back up onto your BCD that, that made a, might have broke. Um, we do have the zip ties, but sometimes the zip ties aren't, aren't practical to use and you need more flexibility of string. And so I carry a, a, roll, a 100 foot roll of string with me um, that goes with me. Uh, also have another uh, mask uh, dive strap just in case you know I've, I've gone through uh, mask straps before and uh, in the middle of dives and so uh, it's nice to be able to just pick up the the box and get going again okay a lot of my tools that I have in this box I uh, keep in separate plastic bags and that's because I put uh, dabs of oil on them uh, to help keep them from rusting or corroding um, keep them operating smooth and so I keep them in plastic bags that way they don't get the oil all over everything else um, while they're in storage. Uh, here I have uh, uh, a set of stainless steel uh, shears, uh, scissors um, that I use, you know, help cut the lines or, or whatever needs to be cut. Okay, and 
We've got more, more zip ties. The, these are in the plastic bag just to kind of keep them together. There's no oil on these. Okay, um, so carry uh, zip ties in both of my uh, save a dive kits. Good, good thing to have. Extra uh, clips, snap clips. So you uh, clip something up if you need to. Okay, uh, another snorkel keeper. Um, you can use those for all kinds of things, not just for your snorkels. And then what, I also have a set of Allen wrenches that come in handy. Now I went with the type that have the built-in handles on them. Gives me a little bit more uh, uh, grip, a little bit more uh, torque action on them without having to worry about busting my knuckles on anything or having it slip because uh, I'm not getting a good enough grip on it. So I have a number eight the, that uh, gets the, that DIN plug out of the, out of the tank valve. Uh, I've got a number four and a number three uh, that help me get uh, smaller plugs out um, and also some of the screws that are on my BCD. Um, so that's what I've got there. Uh, next up, got a pair of uh, uh, pliers, a bigger pair of pliers, uh, just in case I gotta be able to grab something or, or grab a hold of that, that zip tie and get a good, a good uh, firm tug on it. Um, I have the uh, pliers that I can do that with. I also have another um, adjustable wrench. And now the adjustable wrenches that I'm using in both kits are six inch adjustable wrenches. And uh, these are these, these work fine to, to take the hoses off, uh, to uh, take your gauges off the hoses, whatever you need to take off. Um, also have a pair of diagonal cutters and these I use to snip the, um, the uh, zip ties or uh, snip anything else like uh, loose, loose threads or anything that might be coming off. Okay, I have a pair of hemostats. Now I use these because if I have something that I have to get in, um, uh, get in and grab that, that's really, really tight for my fingers to get into, I can very easily get in with a pair of uh, uh, hemostats and lock onto it and then pull it up without causing damage to anything else. So uh, these are really handy. They come in real handy when you're, when you're uh, working on your dive equipment. Um, have another, another thing of silicone grease. Um, like I said previously, I really like the uh, silicone grease, so I never go diving without it. Um, good stuff. Uh, keep your O-rings in good shape. Okay. Um, roll of duct tape. And I have this so that I can mark, uh, mark equipment. If something goes bad, I can tape, put a tape on it and uh, write on there what's wrong with it so that when I get back to uh, my home base or back home, I can uh, easily remember uh, why it is that I taped it up, what's wrong with that piece of, uh, of equipment, uh, what, what services it need to have on it. Or if we're going out with a group of people and everybody's got their own tanks and we don't want to, uh, there's no identifiers on the tanks, we can slap a piece of duct tape on it, put their initials on it, everybody knows which tank is whose. Um, and you never know, you might need this for uh, fixing a piece of equipment. Um, you know, if you can't fix it with duct tape and a hammer, it can't be fixed, right? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. All right, I got a standard uh, flat tip screwdriver and a standard Phillips star head uh, screwdriver. And I've got a set of picks, you know, so I can dive into uh, digging out uh, any O-rings or or what have you that, that um, I can't get it to with my fingers, I can get to with these picks. Uh, easily uh, do uh, repair on, on O-rings uh, for your regulators or, or uh, uh, your tank valves uh, with these. Sometimes it gets a little bit difficult to dig those old rotten uh, O-rings out of the tank valve. So um, uh, picks, always have the set of picks with me. And I also carry an assortment of D-rings. And now what this does is this gives me the ability in case I have something break, I've got various sizes here of uh, D-rings that I can go in and I can uh, use in an emergency setup um, to uh, get back up and running. 
Um, that way, you know, I don't have to worry about losing the camera or, or losing, you know, uh, uh, maybe my, my retractor broke on my, on my computer and I, and it's just dangling. You don't want it dangling in the, in the uh, sand. So you take, take a, take an extra, uh, D ring with you and, uh, clamp it up and put it onto your D-ring on your BCD. So I have a small kit of assorted D-rings that I carry with me. Uh, I think there's 12 in here. And uh, that's helped me on more times than, uh, than not. And uh, a couple of the things that I carry that I don't currently have in my box um, that I carry in um, my dry bag, again, uh, uh, suntan lotion, you want some reef safe uh, suntan lotion so you're not uh, exposing the reefs to chemicals that might kill it off. And uh, some mass defogger and mass scrub. I also uh, like to keep in this box, but uh, they're currently in my dry bag. Uh, we went diving last weekend and took them out and I haven't replaced them back into this box yet. So that's it. That's that's the contents of both of my save a dive kits. Um, if you have any questions at all uh, regarding either one of these dive kits, uh, why I carry a certain thing or why I don't carry something, um, leave me a comment down below and um, I'll be sure to respond to you as quickly as I can and uh, get your question addressed and uh, help you, if you have questions, help you build yourself a, a save a dive kit that's uh, worthy of saving your dives. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna uh, put this all back together and we'll be back in just a minute. Okay guys, there you have it. The contents of both of my Save a Dive kits. And remember, I keep one as a uh, uh, travel uh, dive kit that I take with me when I go on the boats or I'm traveling um, to remote uh, dive sites. And the other one, the larger one, is one that I carry in my car and uh, take with me when I shore dive. Now, when I'm shore diving, I don't just take that one. I take both kits with me. And I do have a, a quite a bit of redundancy in those two kits, but I find that the, 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 the ability to have two separate kits and have uh, multiple options available to me makes uh, uh, my shore diving in remote locations a little bit less stressful and uh, a little bit more enjoyable knowing that that I'm pretty much for the most part 99% self-reliant when I'm out on these dive sites. Um, I get a broken fin strap, it's fixed. I have a broken mast strap, it's fixed. Uh, I have a problem with my compass on my computers, I got a backup. You know, uh, something comes wrong, I bite through my my uh, my mouthpiece, got spares, I can fix them. You know, O-rings. I've got plenty of O-rings for all my different options, uh, uh, and uh, I can get those replaced uh, real quick. It's not a problem. So uh, I, I hope that that this video uh, enlightened you a bit on some of the things that I carry um, as a dive professional, and will also uh, give you ideas of things to put into your dive kits as well. And again, if you haven't already, if you've got questions. Uh, shoot me a, a, a quick comment down below, down below, and uh, I will address each and every one of your comments to the best of my ability and give you my uh, my uh, honest opinion about what what you what you need, what you don't need. Um, I'll even give you brand names of some of the things that I use or some of the things that I uh, don't recommend you that, that you use. Um, if you haven't done so already, uh, give us a, a, a thumbs up. Uh, like like us, uh, subscribe to our uh, our channel, and uh, uh, click on that bell icon to be notified of uh, our future uh, videos. We plan on putting videos out every Tuesdays and Saturdays. Um, this is just the beginning. We're just now getting started with our channel, so uh, uh, hang tight. Uh, the videos will be getting better. I promise. It's just a matter of me getting used to being behind the camera, uh, getting time with Anne so that she can get behind the camera. And or, or in front of the camera, and uh, you know, taking you along on some of our local dives and getting some information out there to you. So, until next time, uh, I'm Dale with Diving Southern California, and I hope that uh, you found value in this video. 
Now get out there and dive. Bye.